Hey guys, let's have a look today at the Chronodate from Angelus, an important model that bridges the gap between the Angelus of the past and that of the modern day. When respected movement maker La Jupere acquired the Angelus brand in 2011 and then relaunched it in 2015 with their first model, the U10 Tourbillon Lumiere, they introduced a design language that was quite a bit removed from the Angelus of the past. If you're familiar with the brand and its history, you'll know that since it was established in Le Locle in 1891, it has spent much of the last century being a respected maker of movements, specialising in complications like repeaters and chronographs, and even famously, supplying the movements that would go into early Panerai and Rolex watches from the 1930s. But back to the modern chronodate that we have before us, which embodies the most important aspects of the brand's history. Firstly, it was inspired by its namesake model from 1942, the original Chronodate, a watch that stunned the world when it was launched as it was the first serially produced chronograph with calendar ever made. This model, later renamed the Chronodato, would go on to become the brand's top seller and an important milestone in watchmaking history. As the name implies, it had a central hand pointing to a chapter ring on the periphery of the dial to show the date, while the day and month respectively were displayed in windows at 6 and 12 o'clock. The new chronodate then, while losing the day and month display windows, still comes with the most important features of the original. The same date track on the periphery of the dial, along with a pointer date hand, as well as the chronograph, as shown. We start. stop and reset. Probably the most interesting aspect of this watch is the design of the case. If we were to look at the more recent Angelus watches, particularly those of the U series featuring open-worked tourbillon movements, we see where the modern leanings of the design come in. Here in the chronodate, we have an open-worked case which is modular and multi-structured and that surrounds a carbon composite container which not only looks sleek and modern, but in spirit are the most high-performance materials that one can use in watchmaking today to make a sports watch. I even like how the carbon chronograph pushes carry this sporty theme further by being labelled in red with the words stop and reset. New for this year's chronodate as well, the introduction of a bracelet in matching titanium which has a sled-like appearance with strong horizontal lines. Altogether, it gives another interesting look to the watch and adds to its sporty intent. When the modern chronodate was first introduced in 2022, every variation was limited. But as CEO Bertrand Savary told me in a recent interview, with the chronodate being a foundational model for the brand, there will be non-limited variations available which is important since it gives every enthusiast of the brand an opportunity to buy its most representative model. For this reason, the new Storm Blue and this green dial variant shown here will be available to buy without limitation and with less than 400 pieces produced every year, exclusivity won't be an issue. Another clue to its modern outlook comes in the form of the movement which is viewable through the case back. The Caliber A500 contains a column wheel and a vertical clutch. On the wrist, the watch wears exceptionally well at 42.5mm wide and given its relatively short lugs that taper down quickly from the flank of the case. The titanium used in the watch, whether on a strap or a bracelet, makes things light and easy going for every day. It's easy to do what many brands do, remake a facsimile of the past, which to be fair, Angelus is also exploring in the remake of the Angelus Chronograph Medical collaboration with Messina Lab. Yet what I think the Angelus Chronodate is doing is rely on the fact that the world and watchmaking has moved on from the glory days of the last century. And it's important to keep up with the new and current age of materials and ideas following a new path of innovation that the original Angelus of the past also had. At the same time, the most important fact about this watch is how it recognises its own history, improving it for our modern day and for the future. Tell me what you think about the watch in the comments below. 
and do check it out in person if you can at SHH Boutiques by Sincere Fine Watches around Asia in Singapore, Malaysia, Taiwan and Thailand. Till then, see you in the next one.